So as a LinkedIn ads professional, where I do this every single day for massive, massive clients to smaller, you know, B2B startups, but I'm working with some budgets which are, you know, a few thousand dollars a day. So I'm doing a lot of A-B tests around LinkedIn. The question I get asked a lot are, do LinkedIn ads work or will they work for my company specifically? So this video is gonna look into this a little bit more and tackle that specifically. But make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button because I have a lot of videos around LinkedIn advertising because I'm just doing it every single day with a bunch of accounts and working for literally companies that have raised tens of millions of dollars and are plowing loads into LinkedIn specifically. And I'm the one literally managing the budgets, doing hundreds of AP tests. So I ex would like to express this knowledge on this YouTube channel, so definitely subscribe. So the first things first, I'm just gonna show you a client I'm working with right now, which is absolutely killing it. We're killing it with this account. It's doing so, 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 so well that I'm just so proud of what they're achieving and what I'm helping them achieve, which is so good. And I just wanna show you this example just to show you that LinkedIn has really can work really, 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 really well. So basically, we're reaching some crazy click-through rates of 3.91.3.1. 3.91%, 1.96%, 1.5%, roughly all of the ads are over 1% on average and there are a lot of them reaching 2, 3, up, nearly up to 4%, which is really incredible if you think about the click for age average on LinkedIn is 0.5%. So this is one of the reasons why this campaign is working really well. If we dig a little bit deeper into their results, I'm working with them and we're getting $44 scheduled phone calls for their B2B kind of recruiting type company and $44 per sign up is ridiculous. This is like better than Facebook prices. So we, you know, the, the, we have a funnel where we're sending ads to landing page and we're converting these uh, this traffic into people filling out a form to apply to basically have a phone call. Then they vet the form and then get the apply for the phone call. So, you know, this is some incredible, this is results from a few days ago. We're spending roughly one grand a day on this campaign at the moment. And we are gonna be upping this budget to probably two, three, four K a day. We're gonna scale that out because we're just starting which is quite promising is the average for a starting campaign which is the worst we're going to do is 1.87 percent so we're going to get much better so who are linkedin ads for specifically they're for b2b SaaS companies they thrive on the platform b2b SaaS companies recruiting companies like consulting companies service-based companies any kind of company basically which has a high lifetime value of roughly ten thousand dollars or more can do really, really well on the platform. The higher your um, lifetime value, the more confident I feel I can make your ads really work. Um, so even though, like for example, this campaign that I just showed you is doing super well, we can get our costs like below even Facebook and Instagram type costs. Other less exciting companies, this company I'm working for has a really enticing offer and that's why, and it's really hitting the right types of people with a really enticing offer. That's why it's working so well mainly. But basically, if you have a less exciting offer, you're selling something a little bit more difficult to sell, I would say your costs will go up, but we can still make really amazing campaigns work if you have a high lifetime value. And the reason why that is because we need to get your return on ad spend to a position which works for your company and your business model. So I just wanna pause really quickly to tell you about this totally free LinkedIn ads mastery targeting like a pro course, totally free. Just click on the link in the description below, get free access. And you can do this free course that I've created. I spent a lot of time creating and it goes, you're going to get really deep into how to target like a pro. You need to target way beyond just job title. Job title is actually not the best specific way to target necessarily. There are four other, or there's probably about five other ways I would say specifically, four ways plus ABM style targeting. So check out this course. It's going to give you a lot of value and an understanding how to target with LinkedIn advertising. The reason why LinkedIn is so good, why would you go to LinkedIn over say, for example, Facebook or Instagram? Well, it's all about the targeting. It's all about the people you can reach and the mindset they're in when you reach them. They're on LinkedIn with a business understanding. They have the business mindset and they're ready to make business decisions. They're not in that mindset on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube and other places. So LinkedIn has this really good mindset to reach people on the right mindset. But also the types of people we can reach are ridiculous. We can be laser sharp. Whereas Facebook and Instagram is a bit of a kind of dark art to reach these people. We have to use 
we have to use like lookalike audiences and we have to just trust the algorithm to find these types of people and this is becoming more and more difficult with you know the cookless future and you know the ios updates and loads of other things are happening in the ad space which are going to make this way more difficult for facebook and instagram to actually succeed in this but basically linkedin can target based on its own data they have on each individual user and they have some incredible up-to-date info on where people work what's their job position you know how long they've worked for certain companies you know if they've just joined a new company um so we can get really incredible uh targeting we can hit b2b SaaS founders or we can hit like ceos from fortune 500 companies we can hit and we can do an abm strategy where we upload a list of companies and segment them by job titles so we're being very specific we want to hit these companies that we've made a list we just want these companies and these people within these companies so we say okay the ceo plus the cto plus this marketing manager of all these companies we want to hit all those people up so we can be so laser sharp with linkedin and this is why i love it the downside of linkedin of course is the cost most of the time and as you can see in the previous campaign this is not the case and the actually this is becoming less and less so because facebook and instagram's prices are just going through the roof and the conversions are reducing because the algorithm's struggling with all these updates with the you know in the space with cookieless you know browsers and um and the ios updates and all this kind of stuff so basically linkedin's actually not becoming that much more expensive at all because if you you don't want to look at the cost per click you want to look at the cost per conversion how much does it cost to get a demo how much does it cost to get a scheduled phone call a sales phone call from ads how much money do we have to put in to get to the point where we're getting scheduled phone calls or demos and how much does that cost that conversion because we're hitting such specific people the conversion rate should be higher and from companies which can pay more or for longer so from bigger companies so actually the cost per conversion but then finally the return on ad spend that's really what we need to be looking for so when we look at the metric on return on ad spend because we can reach much higher um bigger companies much you know fortune 500 companies that have just raised money bigger companies from linkedin than say facebook and instagram which are more um smes or solopreneurs the return on ad spend it doesn't really matter if your cost per click or your cost per scheduled phone call or demo is more what really matters is how much did you make from each client? How much did you make from the ad spend? How much, what's your profit? What's your return on ad spend? And actually, when you look at that metric, LinkedIn can outperform these other platforms, um, specifically if you're a high value type of company and specifically if you're hitting very specific types of people like what we can find on LinkedIn. If you found that useful, I have a whole playlist on LinkedIn ads. So check it out. It's going to be popping up now. Check out this LinkedIn ads playlist.